for you guys with me today. So, I really want to record a video, but I don't know what to record. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, guys. Long time no see. It's been one week because your girl's been studying, 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 studying. Help me. That's it. I just been studying for the NCLEX and I wasn't, I was studying all day. Like, I'm working sometimes, so I literally spend my entire day studying if I'm not at work or I have work that day. So I'm exhausted. I'm literally so over it. But we gotta stay strong because we gotta get this RN, okay? So today's video is um, about my pros and cons of using Kaplan as an NCLEX review course. Kaplan, I purchased the um, NCLEX in review, in person review. And that means I went for three days in person and I had a live instructor and she basically, we just did questions for three days, taught us how to do the decision tree, um, and then just taught us strategies on how to answer the questions. And we went over every single category that NCLEX will test you on. Now, you had to do a phase, something called a phase one before the class. So they have a diagnostic test, which is basically about you figuring out how well you would kind of do. Like, it's like a little estimate on how well you would do. You can see where your strengths are, what you need to work on um, before you really get into the the review that they have for you. Then you take your first CAT exam, and a CAT exam is a computer adaptive test, which I was mentioning before, the one that took me all the way to 75. So it's like a real NCLEX. You sit down, and it figures out what, like where to stop you at. So you can have from 75 to 265. So good thing is, the first time I took it, I got 265 questions, and then I did a lot of reviewing. I used the content review guide right here that you also get this in your when you pay for it you get it but you get it as an ebook and I don't do ebooks I cannot I just can't so I bought the other one I think it's like 27 to 30 dollars it's not that bad but to me it was worth it because I need that book in hand and I can bring it with me and I do bring it with me everywhere so you take your first cat it has like a little thing that's called essential nursing content and this like has everything you need to know, sends you little videos, and then there's this link that literally takes you to a content library, and there's 322 recorded videos about con any content that you think you need to review on. The good thing about this is they're very short, some of them are one minute long, some of them are three minutes long, some of them are 15, but there's a whole bunch, 322, so if you're like, oh, I don't really know about, um like Alzheimer's you can go look on the content library click on the video and then it gives you like a brief explanation so I was doing that for um, a lot of the things that I was struggling on so I watched it on like congenital heart anomalies because I was getting confused on which ones were cyanotic which ones were acyanotic and it was a five minute video and it literally I was like I got it I get it now so it's just a nice little refresher that doesn't take you all day to do. Then you have question trainers. So question trainers one through three are like knowledge based. They say that if you do those, you should see whether or not you have like areas of strength and areas of weaknesses. So it basically gives you an opportunity like, okay, what's the content that I need to go read in the book because I didn't do so well on it. Um, so those ones, you don't really need to worry about score. I mean, Kaplan wants you to get over get at least a 65 on those but don't worry about scores like if you do bad or you don't do the score they want just remediate and understand why you got the question wrong and I think that you'll be fine in the beginning I was like oh my gosh I didn't get that score but then I looked online and like no one really does so just remediate that's what it's all about this is not the real NCLEX so it doesn't really matter what score you get on this it's good to be close to what they want yes but don't dwell on it and think that you're gonna fail just because you didn't get the score that they said so then you have phase two which is in class and you have six sessions in class and then the seventh session you go online is after the class and you do a practice test and it's a 60 question test that has just all application and analysis questions and I did very well on that test so I was really really proud of myself on that so 
Then you have a live session video, or you can watch a pre-recorded one called Roadmap to Success. And it there's a live teacher and they go through every single question. Every single question that was on that practice test and you remediate with a teacher. And now if you do the live session, you have the opportunity to interact with other students and you can talk and like some people give out good pointers and good ways to remember stuff or like why they answered that question this way and why you answered it that way. It's a nice little conversation that you can have. So I like that. And then phase three is the last phase that's after the class. So you have to do, there's seven question trainers. One is, Question trainer four and five are 150 questions. Question trainer six is 200 questions. And question trainer seven is 265 questions. So I love, like this is the one reason why I love Kathleen. Because they make the test with so many, like 265 questions. Now, what if you didn't do that before you had the NCLEX and you end up going to the NCLEX and getting 265 questions? Like at least I've now sat and have done 265 questions twice and I know it's not the end of the world doing it. So I think that Kaplan gets you ready to sit for a long time and to be able to do a lot of questions and try not to get question fatigue. So I do really like that about Kaplan. Um, then you have to take your third CAT exam. I have not taken mine yet, but I'm taking it tomorrow actually and then they do have a cue bank but this is where I get to the cons of Kaplan um, I like Kaplan for the fact that you can do the live channel reviews you can know and practice how to sit for a whole bunch of questions and they give you like these little videos and these tips and I like the decision tree now the cons are the rationales that they give are like a sentence and a lot of the times, like some of them are good and I get what I need from, from them. But some of them are just like, because this is why. And I'm like, but why? Like, I don't understand why. Like, can you explain to me why this is the right choice compared to the other ones? So Kaplan's rationales are not the greatest. I, I don't really like them at all. Um, when I'm remediating, I barely get anything out of it other than the right answer. So I want to understand why it's wrong. Like, why is this one right? So, last is they have a readiness test and then they have a test that is, they have two sample tests, which are application analysis questions and those are really good. I took one already and did really well on it. So we'll see how I do on the next one. And then they have a test where it's like, well, who do you see first? which is all questions of who you see first, so that's good if you need practice in that. And then they have an alternate format question, which is all select and apply. 50 select all apply questions. And I'm doing that today, and I'm gonna need some prayer because we all don't like select all the apply questions because I'm always off by one, or I always pick one too many. And now the NCLEX could be you pick one, or you could pick all of them. Like, it could be any of them, so that's kind of stressful. But Kaplan is very good. And now I just wanted to talk about more about the live um, the live channel review. So I'm actually gonna show you because I feel like it's better to show you than for me to just sit here and tell you. So here we go. So this is the channel. They have, this is where you go and you see all your phases in your study plan and then and then this is the channel, okay? And every day you'll see things on the side. So they have some live sessions. There's actually one going on now, but I already did that one. Um, and there's some tonight. So you go to upcoming and you can see all the, um, all the classes coming up. Bear with me guys, my head, my brain is fried. So you have all of that, and then you have recorded ones. So these ones are already recorded, and you can do all of them. So here on the side, all of these have videos for them. So if you need help in a certain subject, you can watch a live review. And I really, 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 really recommend doing the live reviews. I really do, because I feel like they give you stuff that you, you don't remember or you haven't done in a long time and it's really helpful to me and then a lot of the teachers have actually um, woo, 
a lot of the teachers have actually um, given me things that helped me remember stuff when I'm taking a question. So I see the connect on me watching these videos to me answering the questions. I'm like, oh yeah, that's what she said in the live review. Or oh yeah, that's what someone commented and said. Um, so you get a lot of interaction, which I really like about it. I really find it helpful. And if you want to save money, you don't have to do the one in class. Like the in person, I don't really think you need to really go in person. So it's up to you. But I honestly think that you could do the live online and it's perfectly fine. It'll save you some money if your school doesn't give Kaplan to you for free. Just try to use everything. Like you pay all this money for these reviews. Use them. Use every single thing that comes with them. They have resources. They even have, you can talk to live teachers online. Like if you didn't get a question, they have a code on the question where you can be like, oh, can you help me understand why this question is right, why this question is wrong um, to a live teacher. And they'll answer and go back and forth with you and give you ideas and talk about why the answer is what it is. So Kaplan is very nice. It's hard, which is good because you want to be used to doing hard questions. So if you guys have any other Kaplan questions, let me know. Stay tuned to my world video. Um, that'll probably be next week, maybe the week after. It depends on if I'm surviving. Like, you know, because studying is so hard. I'm just so tired of studying. I don't understand why we have to go to nursing school and then we have to study. And then, like, I haven't had a summer. Everyone's like, what are you doing? Studying. Do you want to go? No, nope, I'm studying. How about, no, nope, I gotta study. Like, I, I, all I do is study. It went from nursing school, all I do is study, to graduate. Yay, be excited for a week and then study, study, study. But it'll be worth it. So everyone out there who is studying with me, we got this. We can do it. Stay positive. Stay focused. And um, know your strengths and weaknesses. Like, know that. If you go in and you know and you work on that stuff, we should be fine. So everyone stay positive. Any questions, comment down below. Sorry if this video was too long. I know I talk too much, but I'm just trying to talk y'all and see like what what is working for you guys give me some advice help me don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel send this to any nursing people that might need it send this to people who just want to watch youtube videos like anyone all right but don't forget subscribe 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 join me on my nursing journey all right bye guys